that you know you've made it when you make the late night comics. Well, Dave Bratt, the guy who beat Eric Cantor, not once, but twice. Listen. It's a big story. A Tea Party candidate, you probably heard this, won Virginia's Republican primary mostly on his anti immigration stance. Yeah. His first plan is to change the state slogan from Virginia is for lovers to Virginia is for lovers who habla inglés. <laughs> Comprende? Reviewers on RateMyProfessor.com have noted that he's total eye candy. <laughs> he is so charming, you forget to be mad at him. And at least he's hot. Mm, and yes, he is. I mean, I wouldn't kick him out of bed for kicking Mexicans out of the country. But I'm bum. But I'm boom. Dave Bratt's Andy Warhol moment. We see what he makes of it from here. He's, uh, he can get jokes on late night comics. He's going to have to come up with better answers, though, about the minimum wage in Syria and things like that. He was not prepared for that, was he, John King? That minimum I, wage question? What do you no, say? Well not. reasoned? What do he you was say? like, no, I need to come back with you once I've thought about it. No, basically. yeah, he said something like, I don't have a well something. What well thought this? out answer. Yeah, he's an economics professor. <laughs> well, it's complicated. Minimum yes wage. or no? It's not really yes. about economics, is it? <laughs> Should we have a federal win minimum wage? Yes or no is sort of the question. He's got to get ready. It's going to get tougher for <laughs> Dr. sure. Dr. Milton Wolf would see it, say it's those type of personal attacks, John King, that the American people don't want anymore. What the people want is for me to attack you. Democracy is grand. John King, thank you. <laughs>